Hi guys, this is Zainab Zaytun. In the previous video, I explained similar triangles for grade 9, and I only solved one exercise on this chapter. So some people asked me to solve one more exercise. So this is a short video where I will solve two short exercises. So I'll start by this exercise. It's taken from Al Imam Hassan High School. C is a circle of center O and radius R, and AB is the diameter of C. So let's draw it together. So you can draw a circle of any radius because it's not specified. So I drew a circle of center O and diameter AB. Uh, I chose the radius to be 2, but you can draw any circle because it's not spe specified as I said. So this is the circle. Now D is a line exterior to C, so outside C, such that D is perpendicular to AB at M, where BM is equal to R. So the line D is perpendicular to the line AB, and it's an exterior line. So let's extend the line AB. So this is the line AB. Now where should we locate M? Look back at the given. We know that BM is equal to R. So BM should be equal to R. So it's either here or here. But since the line is exterior to the, to the circle C, then M should be here. So this is the point M, and now I'll draw the line D, which is exterior to C and perpendicular to AB at M. So this is D. N is a point on D such that MN is equal to 2R. So let's place M. So MN should be equal to 2R, so it's either here or down. Or downwards but they didn't specify so you can place it whenever wherever you want so this is n so m and is four centimeter because i took the radius two centimeter here and now finally a n cuts c at p so let's draw the line a n this is a n so p would be here the intersection of the circle and the line now what's uh, what's the nature of triangle a b p so this is the triangle ABP. Let's join the triangle first. This one is very easy and it's very common. So APB, the, angle, the measure of the angle APB is equal to 90 degrees since it's an angle facing the diameter. So APB is a right triangle at P. Now prove that the two triangles ABP and AMN are similar and deduce that AP times AN is a constant to be determined. Uh, let's look at the two triangles A, B, P, and A, M, N. A, B, P, this triangle, and A, M, N. Try to do it by yourself, so pause the video and solve it, if you didn't know how. So first, A is a common angle in both triangles. Notice B, A, P, A, B, and N, A, M is a common angle. So now we're done with the first angle. What about the second angle? So we still have this angle or this angle and these two angles in the other triangle. Notice that APB is equal to 90 degrees. We proved it. And AMN is also equal to 90 degrees because this is perpendicular by given. So these two angles are equal and we're done by angle-angle method. So these two triangles are similar. This is the solution. Now we still have to use that AP times AN is a constant to be determined. Since we're asked about the measurement of the sides, then we will use the ratio of similarity because it will help us. So how do we set the ratio of similarity? In the previous video, on a scratch paper, uh, set the corresponding angles. So according to our proof, A corresponds to A and P to M. And we're left with P and M and N. So so B to N. So these are the corresponding angles. So the side AP will correspond to AM and PB to MN and AB to AN. So this would be the ratio of similarity or similitude. Now since we're asked about AP times AN, so you will use this ratio because it has AP and this ratio because it has AN. So use these two ratios and apply cross multiplication. Now, AP times AN would be AM times AB. Let's look at AM. So, this is AM. Remember that, the radio, that BM is R by given. And this is also R and this is also R. So, AM would be 3R. 
and AB would be 2R because it's the diameter of the circle. So AM is 3R and AB is 2R, so you get 6R squared, which is a constant since R is a constant. Another exercise, it's taken from the optional exams, 2016 first session. So pause the video and read the given carefully. This is a circle of center O and AE is 4 cm by given and B is symmetric of E with respect to A. This means that A is the midpoint of EB. And you have that BD is tangent to C at D. And remember when you have a tangent, this means that it's perpendicular to the radius. So you can immediately notice that BD is perpendicular to OD. Now part two, I canceled a lot of parts. I'm concerned only about these parts. Calculate BD. So also I'll do this very quickly. So this triangle, ODB is a right triangle at D since BD is a tangent. So you can apply Pythagoras to get the measurement of BD. So this is the answer. Now I'm concerned about this part. Prove that the two triangles BDE and BAD are similar. So let's look at the triangles BDE, BDE. So this triangle and BAD, BAD. So this triangle. How do you prove that they are similar? Also pause the video and try to do it by yourself. First, you can notice that both triangles have a common angle, which is B. So now we're done with the first angle. For the second angle, you can know that the measurement of the angle ADB is equal to the half of the arc AD because it's an angle formed by a chord and a tangent. And the other triangle BDE, you can also know that the measurement of the angle DEB is also half of the arc AD because it's an inscribed angle. So now we have that this angle and ADB are both equal to AD arc over 2, so they are equal. So these two triangles are similar. This is the solution also. B is a common angle and these two angles are equal. Now calculate DE over DA. So we set the ratio of similarity in the same method that I stated before. So you set the method of the ratio of similarity. So you get this ratio. And now you're asked about DE over DA. DE over DA. So you will need this ratio. And now how do you choose between these two ratios? Usually you choose the ratio that you know the measurements of its sides. In this exercise, you know both of them. So you can choose whatever you want. So I'll choose BD over BA. Now I have that BD is 4 radical 2 using part 2. And BA is 4 centimeter because it's the diameter. So it's equal to the diameter AE because B is the symmetric of A. Symmetric of E with respect to A. So it's 4 and we're done. So it's radical 2. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching.